Well, it's rare to be at any job for 31 years, even rarer at a nonprofit. But the longtime driving force behind the Big Brothers Big Sisters of Kentuckiana said today she's retiring. Doug Prophet talked to Jerry Swinton about the mentor matches she watched over with care. Personal yeah. connection. And they the still can. They, they can some now. They just have to stay six we have feet away. <laughs> Jerry Swinton is a mover and a doer. My uh, background is in community organizing, and I think it was such a good fit. The longtime CEO of Big Brothers Big Sisters of Kentucky, Anna, never stops. Even when she and her husband are out for a walk, he knows what's going to happen. He'd be looking at his watch, seeing how long it's going to take before I start recruiting people to be volunteers. Um, and I don't recruit just everybody. 31 years ago, she took over the helm of the organization and loves its activism. Long maintained, we're the biggest bridge builders in this community. She created the relationship with WHAS 11 31 years ago, where from Gary Rodemeyer, now to myself, we show you the amazing matches. Black and white mentors, different races matched together of all ages and political backgrounds. Jerry Swinton has made melting the racial divide a career. It's really hard to make a judgment about a person based on the area of town they live in, the color of their skin, their religion, when you know them one to one. The matches cost about $1,500 each to create because of tough background checks. Along the way, she embraced social media, got a donation to buy their Gardner Lane headquarters, but thankfully for our community, invested in people. Names off the top of the head she never forgets. Little brother Josh, who's now an engineer at GE, and a wonderful father. Um, yeah, that's the biggest reward. But Big Brothers Big Sisters is based on that one-on-one -on -one mentoring time. Enter COVID-19. I've been maintaining the next big pandemic is going to be youth disengagement if we don't really invest and we don't really get involved. And so our volunteers were on the phones. They were doubling down. Swinton's never give in spirit beat the virus this way. We had people driving to the child's home and standing six to 10 feet apart saying, how are you doing on your schoolwork? Are you going to graduate? She leaves the job at the end of the year, but to be on the lookout, you may be her next recruit. I don't always agree with the powers that be in the community, but they know where I stand and that I'm going to be a strong advocate for this organization and that will continue. Doug Prophet, WHAS 11 News.